Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, Put your yo, phone away. Yo, yo, yo. Put your phone away. Stop hey, checking Instagram. You're not on. You on? Okay. Yeah. Where right. are we? Uh, we're at Basel World, <laughs> and we're going to stop, literally stop. <laughs> all right, all right. Yep. I'm trying to talk about our favourite watches. Yes. My favourite watches mm -hmm. between roughly. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? 10k to 35k. Oh. Yeah. The big boy is, category. That is, a, that is a good price point. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what? What was it? <sighs> Genuinely, I should have checked my phone. There you go. Yeah. And there you go. This no. is the stuff we cut out. Do you want to see this? No, 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 no. Now. I'm gonna start by cheating. Okay. This is a $35,000 watch. If the dollars you're talking about are US dollars. Oh man, you can't <laughs> I bend know, them I rules. Can. I can, because it's a Patek, and it's the new Aquanaut. Hi there. Yep. Sure. Um, <laughs> it's a new Aquanaut. It's a really, really, uh, it's, it's always been my favorite. Do you know, Anthony Doe, our new team member, says, guys, but it looks like a hand grenade. And I'm like, that makes me like it more. Yeah, well, well, back in the day, in the 90s, day, people didn't like it because it looked like a hand grenade. Yeah. And now it's cool again. They've it's made even it cooler. It's even cooler because it's khaki and green, and Christian Hagen made it cool. So that's enough, good enough for me. Next up, can you guess? Yes. Hublot. It's yep. a, I was a big fan of the FIFA World Cup kickoff party. No, no. <laughs> I like the, the new version of the uh, Song Bleu. Mm -hmm. uh, so many facets. It's amazing. And I had a good chat to uh, the guy behind it, uh, Maxine Bouki. Mm -hmm. And he... Any he was, tats? Any sleeves? No, any, no. Any we, didn't, we didn't have time. It was a very quick interview. Um, <laughs> He's a tattooist. And he was talking about sort of the, the evolution of how he was involved. So the, the, the quick change uh, system is, yep. is uh, you know, very new. There were, there were, he wanted like a full disc for the chronograph oh, uh, thing, but there wasn't cool. enough weight. And yeah. really talking through, the, talking through the technical challenges yeah. made me really get into it as a product, as yeah. a watch. Uh, and where am I going next? Uh, I Hint. don't know, it's your list. It's still down there. Oh, it's going to be the Bulgari, 100%. Bulgari, Octo Finissimo in black ceramic. At this point, I, at this point, I think it's fair to just to sh fair to assume that any time I'm doing a, a Best of Basel list, it's going to have a, a Bulgari Octo Finissimo in it. Yeah, because it's getting like that, and I might have one too. <laughs> um, it's just such a, yeah. it's such, it's still a fresh design, and it works whatever you do with it. Like, and I think it demonstrates how different your your relationship with this watch is when you've yeah. had it on the wrist a few times, and yeah. like a lot of people probably. You guys are probably eating this watch with your eyes and not really having the chance to experience it. Yep. And it, once you do, it changes, doesn't it? Well, it does. And it's, it's so versatile. Like last year, I was really into that gold. Mm. And this, it's, it's just, it's like a little square of blackness. Yeah. Uh, and it's, I, I love it. And uh, it really excites me. So and there the, you go. The Kool-Aid is still cold. Yeah, it's still so third, fresh. It's so fresh. Third year. All right. That's me. Done. And all right, I guess it's my turn. Just, just click next and you'll see mine. Okay.